इस ब्लूमबर्ग यू टीवी This is Talk Back. I'm Hindul Sen Gupta. My guest today is a man who does not tell a rags to riches story. What he actually tells, and as Richard Branson says about him, he tells a rags to riches to rags to perhaps riches again story. He's a man synonymous with the word Deccan, a brilliant entrepreneur. He's written his first book, his autobiography. I'm delighted to welcome on the show Captain Gopi Nath. Captain Gopi, what a delight to have you on the show once again. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to be with you. Yeah. Let me then begin by asking you. You've had a long journey, a tumultuous, a tumultuous journey with troughs and crests. In the long career that you've had as entrepreneur, what was the toughest challenge? What is the key hurdle to being entrepreneur in India? The 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 biggest challenge in India is, uh, 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 you know, you have got huge constraints. Constraints. Uh, in some in terms of polit political uh, if i could call it that politi political uh, instability combined with political corruption which probably the instability leads to more corruption in india because everybody has a short span they want to make money uh, the the bureaucratic apathy but uh, I, I also said that uh, i'm not pointing a finger at them it is i think probably sometimes the businessmen are more corrupt than politicians I wanted to ask you. In some senses, you've mirrored the trajectory of liberalisation. Your life mirrors the trajectory of liberalisation and the opportunities brought about by liberalisation in India. You know, born in a small village, without the benefit of the classic Indian education or the Anglo-Saxon Indian education, uh, went on to go to the army, had a successful career there, left the army, saw a war. while you were in the army left the army started went back in some senses to your rural roots created a successful business there went on to something entirely different created a hugely successful model that went bust went back and have has created an entirely different model in the same sphere or uh, sphere of um, aeronautical um, sort of entrepreneurship in india in this entire journey that you have gone through in some senses do you feel that your life in some senses your trajectory mirrors the journey that india has made in the last 30 years i think so. and uh, that's what i said that you know my own life and 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 the life of deccan or uh, the story of deccan is the, is the story of new india the india of all possible you know the india of possibilities uh, you know i i was born in a village i went barefoot to your school uh, my father was a poor teacher and the early recollection of my childhood is Uh, my father all the time you know strained in circumstances to put us to school and uh, but uh, but on the one hand if that was the 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 uh, the, the straitened circumstances was was one 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 aspect of life uh, it was also full of sunshine you know my my poverty uh, was was uh, was not uh, one of uh, misery uh, you know because there was no envy you know the, 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 there was a wealth of spirit there in some senses your big dream was to merge the two indias wasn't it captain gopi that's what air deccan really stood for the idea of making every indian fly the idea of using uh, that great enigmatic symbol of the of the common man as your mascot for the airline essentially the idea that flying in the air which really is is something only the privileged have ever enjoyed in india only the rich have ever enjoyed you break that barrier you bring everything into that uh, in bring everyone into that sphere is that the way to the future because you know you're talking about maoism you're talking about nationalism at the end of the day what is it it's it's basically resentment of a large section of people who are consistently for many many decades deprived from what people like you and i have absolutely i think that is uh, I, i think we are in a real danger uh and and in a very literal and a metaphorical sense edekan was that you know as a metaphor you know you know it, it is it, you know the, the 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 thought that you could fly is is a great feeling is a, is a, is a freedom for is a, is a expression of freedom of everything but also in a very literal sense uh you know uh, air connectivity um you know creates jobs it integrates the country physically it subsumes geography uh you know why do you think reforms uh, and investments don't go into the interiors is because people can't reach there 
uh, why do you think northeast is almost a, is like a different country uh, why do you think uh, you know very very large parts of this country are are uh, uh, you know what, what is happening in telangana for example or what is happening in jammu and kashmir i think uh, for 60 years uh, we 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 didn't realize that uh, one way to uh, eliminate poverty is to integrate this country in a very physical sense so if you have uh, uh, the, the government should not calculate uh, you know revenue only from from the taxes uh, you know in terms of infrastructure like you know aviation if you put more flights into northeast whether it's passenger flights or cargo flights you are literally integrating this country you know emotionally and physically and uh, and for me in, in deccan uh, it was a great challenge but also for me uh, this is what drove me and uh, and when i said every every man could fly uh, it it is a dream that could i could never realize but i was realizing it every day and i wanted to ask you this because it was a fantastic de- dream it took the country by storm and yet it hit uh, it hit what many people believe and you talk about it extensively in the book a big roadblock explain to me if you were to start air decken today would the journey be different would the brand survive was it did it stop because it was a problem of timing was the timing wrong what went wrong you know uh,